All right, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. TCV, the country boy. You know what? I had a very interesting uh, link that somebody sent me uh, just, just recently. And it was an early, very early version of Eminem before he was actually Eminem. And the name of the song is called Bitter Phobia. So I decided to do a little bit of research and kind of check this out. And uh, I know some of you guys know a lot about this anyway, but I'm going to fill in some people that don't. Um, back in 1992 to 1995, um, there was a group called Soul Intent. They were out of Warren, Michigan, and it was underground hip-hop kind of a thing. And it was under the Mashing Ducks recording label. Uh, the members were Eminem, Chaos Kid, Proof, Maniacs, and DJ Butterfingers. Now, that particular soul intent was uh, imprised of two different groups. One of them was called Hype and Effect, and one was called New Jacks. Now, Hype and Effect was fronted by MC Mannix, which is Michael Ruby, and D DJ Stenzo, which is Steve Makowitz. Now, the second group... Um, was the New Jacks, and that was fronted by MC Double M, a.k.a. Marshall Bruth Mathers III, which became M&M like the candy, which then, down the road, became what it is now, M&M, the way he spells it out. Um, it was also with DJ Butterfingers, which is also known as Matthew Ruby. Now, this thing only lasted from like 88 to 89. It only lasted a year. And in, nine, in 89, when it was dissolved, uh, um, Bassment Production, which is the main part of Soul Intent, uh, was duly fronted by Double M, which became Eminem, and then later Eminem, Chaos Kid, Maniacs, and DJ Butterfingers. Um, so they dissolved it, but there's this one song that came out of it, and it's a really crappy copy is what... Uh, um, what I saw out there, but somebody sent me the link to the very best um, audio version. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remix it myself. I'm going to take the best audio version, which they gave me. I uh, appreciate that, by the way. Uh, some of our peoples there, shout out to whoever did that. Um, and then I have got a another one that shows all the lyrics. So I'm going to put the lyrics with the best audio and then I'm going to go and boost up the voice a little bit more and try to give it a little bit better sound so at least the best very best copy of this song is going to be out there on YouTube for y'all to tell y'all's peoples and we got it right here at the house and I'm not going to interrupt it I never do I never say anything during the song 99% of the time sometimes I crack up too much but you know um, I don't say anything because I don't like degrading the song or putting my own two cents on it it just jacks up the flow of the song so i'm never going to do that and i never will so y'all can count on that so let's go ahead and run this song uh bitter phobia here we go <laughs>
<laughs> wow. That was very cool, man. Very cool. Um, you can definitely tell he was younger because his voice, you know, it hadn't totally... It don't seem like it was totally, you know, deeper. But then again, it could have been the quality of the recording. I know I got the best that I have to deal with, and I got some stuff that I'm going to go ahead and try to clean it up so you're not even going to hear it as bad as it is right now. I think the levels that it's at right now, it's uh, too much volume on the music, and we need to turn up his voice so uh, we can actually hear what he's saying a little bit better. I think I can fix that. So anyway, um, awesome. Thank you for sending that over. That's very cool. I appreciate y'all as always. See y'all later.